Good day everybody. Welcome to the Garmin Phoenix 7 Pro tutorial series. In this video, I will assume you know the basic functionality of the watch and know how to access all the relevant menus. If you are unfamiliar with the watch controls, please go to the overview video first. You can either click on the card at the top right or follow the link in the description below. Now on to the topic at hand. By default, you access the controls menu by holding the light button. In this menu, you have a lot of quick ways to control your device with options and features. You can scroll up and down in the menu with the up and down buttons. And the icon that is aligned with the line on the top right is the one that is selectable by pressing the start button. As you can see, a description of the option is displayed in the middle of the screen. You can scroll with the touch screen to align the icons to that right hand side start button or you can just select it wherever it is. There are three ways to edit the controls menu. While you are in the controls menu, press and hold the menu button. The first three options will be applicable to the controls menu. First we can add controls by pressing add controls, so you either select it with your finger or you press the start button, so let's say add controls, and there will be a list of all the controls that you can still add to the controls menu. So none of the menu items that's already on that controls menu will be here, this will all be just the ones that you can still add to it. So let's add ABC. If we go back to our controls menu, we see that ABC is now added to the controls menu. The second option on that menu is reorder controls. So when you reorder controls, you select one of the icons. So let's say we want to move the ABC one we just added, you press the start button to select it, and then you move it to a different location and press the start button to drop it there. The third option on our controls menu menu is remove controls. So if we select that, we can select the icon by going up and down. So let us remove ABC again by pressing the start button. Now it has been removed. You can remove multiple ones at the same time. So let's just exit, go back to our controls menu and you will see that ABC has been removed. You can change the controls menu in the main menu by holding menu when you're on the watch face. So when we're on the watch face and we hold the menu button, we scroll down to appearances and we select appearances. Then we scroll down to controls and you select controls. When you select, when you select that, you will see your controls in the order that they appear on the controls menu. When you select an item, it will give you the option to either reorder it or remove it. So let's go to find my phone. We can reorder it or remove it. When we select reorder, we just move it to a new location and press the start button and now it has been reordered. Note, or let's just quickly remove that one first. So this, we want to remove that. Now it has been removed from the controls menu. Note that you cannot remove the power off button. You can only reorder it. If we scroll down to the bottom of this list of the items that is already on our controls menu, you will see the add new option. If you click that, you will again get a list of all the items that you can add to the controls menu. Whenever you click something, it will be added to the controls menu. So let us go and see at that, at our controls menu. We can see that the altimeter has been added to the controls menu. There is a third option to change the controls menu as well. The third and easiest way to edit the controls menu is through the Garmin Connect on your phone. After you've opened your app, there are two ways to access the settings. Firstly, you can select it with your device at the top. If you have more than one Garmin device, you select it again. So on the top button, it will show us all our Garmin devices. So we've got our Phoenix 7 Pro and our Index S2 scale. So click on that and we'll bring up the menu screen for that Phoenix 7. Or we can either go to the bottom right on the three circle menu where it says more, click on that, and then you scroll down to the bottom 
and you click select common device it will bring you to the same menu where you can select which device to edit you choose your Phoenix 7 and that will bring up the Phoenix 7 screen now we go to appearances and then we go to controls so here the top part you will see is all the controls that is at this moment added to the controls menu and this division here in the middle below that is all the available options that you can add it's very easy to reorder them all you do is on the right hand side those the button that looks like two bars you click and you hold that and then you can move it around and reorder the icons to add an icon you just press on the little blue plus sign next to the icon on the ones that are available so let's say we're going to add ABC now we just press plus there and ABC is added now we can move the ABC around and if we want to remove it we can just press the minus key and it removes it again and that all gets done on your phone as soon as you exit this and let's go to the back now our device is syncing there on the top and as soon as the device has stopped syncing then your controls menu will be edited in the way that you wanted it and the way you just did it on connect so that is it for those that are wondering yes you can add all the controls options to the menu at once your scroll wheel will become infinite hiding icons as you scroll through all the options so you can see this little bars here on the left hand side that is where icons disappear into and move from there will be these two dots that will show you the start and the end of your list and as soon as it goes through into that little infinite two stripes it will just continue going on through all the different options that you have on your controls menu these ones are all the controls menu icons on the controls screen in the next video we will go through all the control menu icons and explain exactly what each one does.